Top 10 Worst Things About Being Married to a Younger Man Being married to a younger man comes with its unique set of challenges, but it's also a journey filled with learning and growth. As someone who's experienced it firsthand, I can confidently say that the benefits often outweigh the drawbacks. However, like any relationship, there are a few things that can leave you scratching your head or laughing at the absurdity of it all. Here's a deep dive into the top 10 worst things about being married to a younger man, and why, despite these quirks, it can still be one of the most fulfilling experiences. 1. The comments. Oh, the unsolicited comments. When people find out that my husband is significantly younger than me, by about 10 years, I get reactions that are at best awkward, and at worst downright annoying. Phrases like, you go girl, or wow, what a cougar, are often thrown my way, and honestly, it's getting old. I didn't go hunting for a younger man. He found me. What's even stranger is that no one seems to say anything to him. Can you imagine if he was the one with a younger wife? They'd probably say something like, are you trying to relive your youth? It's a funny double standard, but a challenge nonetheless. 2. The assumption we're having sex 24-7. Let's be clear, while younger men may have more stamina, that doesn't mean we're constantly indulging in non-stop passion. Marriage is about more than just physical attraction, and sometimes, the assumption that we're always having sex can feel frustrating. If I ask my husband if he's in the mood for a BJ, he knows I'm really referring to Ben and Jerry's ice cream, not exactly a romantic situation. This assumption about endless sexual energy is a stereotype that doesn't always apply to real life. 3. Communication issues. Language evolves, and so do the meanings of words. For instance, when I say I'm hooking up with some friends, I simply mean hanging out. My husband, however, hears hooking up and assumes I'm referring to the kind of hookup. It leads to some very interesting and often hilarious misunderstandings. So, when I announce that I'm about to hook up for lunch with friends, his face lights up, and it takes me a while to explain that I'm not in the mood for anything other than good food and a lot of gossip. 4. Rap music. I grew up with classic rock, Led Zeppelin, The Who, Bob Dylan. Meanwhile, my husband grew up with rap. While I've tried my best to appreciate the rhythm and art of rap, I just can't quite get into it. It feels like someone is speaking at lightning speed, and I'm left struggling to catch up. The real tension arises when we go on road trips and fight over the car radio. He wants rap. I want Pearl Jam. So, to avoid a full-on radio war, I pretend to get car sick, and we pull over for a rest stop where I finally get to control the music. Sometimes, it's the only way we can make peace on the road. 5. He doesn't know how to fix things. One of the things I didn't quite anticipate in marrying a younger man is how little he knows about basic home maintenance. Sure, he's great at his job, but when it comes to fixing a leaking faucet or a broken knob, it's a different story. Take the time our shower knob blew off and water shot out like a fire hydrant. His first instinct was to stuff a washcloth in the hole, while I took charge, called a plumber, and went back to watching trashy TV. It's moments like these that really highlight the difference in experience, but hey, he tries. Sort of. 6. Video games. Video games are a major part of my husband's past. Growing up, his social life revolved around gaming. Meanwhile, I was too busy living my life to see the appeal of spending hours in front of a screen. Fast forward to our marriage, and I'm now navigating the strange world of gaming gifts for him and our children. The perks. I get discounts for bulk purchases during the holidays. The downside. I have no idea what's going on in the game world, and I'd rather be playing drinking games than Super Mario Kart. 7. Time Warp. Sometimes, discussing cultural events with my husband feels like we're living in two different decades. When he talks about things he learned in his recent significant cultural events college class, I'm often left wondering, 
Wasn't that just last year? It's the ultimate time warp. While I'm discussing movies or music from the 80s, he's referencing events that occurred long after my teenage years. The generational divide can sometimes feel a little disorienting, but it's also a reminder of how much we each bring to the relationship from different places. 8. Junk Mail. As we age, junk mail becomes a strange indicator of where we are in life. My husband receives offers for luxurious vacations, new gadgets, and the latest fashion trends. Meanwhile, my mail is filled with ads for urinary incontinence products, senior services, and cemetery plots. I mean, seriously. The contrast between the mail we receive is almost comical, though a bit depressing at times. I'd love to trade some of my junk mail for vacation offers, but alas, that's not the reality. 9. Building a career versus practicing for retirement. At this stage in life, I'm more focused on finding ways to escape work and enjoy life. Meanwhile, my husband is building his career, focusing on networking and working late hours. He's all about professional growth, while I'm scheming ways to retire early and live my life on my terms. It can be a little challenging when he's constantly talking about his latest career goals, while I'm just trying to figure out how to attend the next music festival without feeling guilty. 10. Physically aging at different rates. One of the toughest parts of being married to a younger man is the physical aging divide. As I notice the inevitable signs of aging, wrinkles, gray hair, and the occasional back pain, he's still in his prime. It's like I'm watching my body decline, while he stays as youthful as ever. I try to warn him about the long-term effects of bad habits by pointing to my own struggles, but it doesn't seem to faze him, especially when he's still devouring Oreos and drinking soda for dinner. The best part. Despite these little annoyances, there's one thing that always makes it all worth it. Being loved completely by someone who sees beyond your age. My husband doesn't care that I'm older. He loves me for who I am. The best part of being married to a younger man is knowing that your age doesn't matter when love is real. It's the unconditional affection that makes all the awkward moments, the generational gaps, and the quirky misunderstandings totally worth it. In the end, marriage to a younger man is about more than just the challenges. It's about embracing the journey, the laughter, and the deep connection that grows stronger over time. While the differences can be tough at times, they also keep things interesting. And the love. That's what truly matters. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.